Hey everyone, of course, welcome to the next edition of Forum Bites. In this episode, we're going to have a conversation about the types of coaching and when to use them. And once again, who better to bring in than Anthony DeMarco. Wave again, Anthony. Hey, how are you doing? Back for a second time. So let's get into the video. Anthony, back again. How are you, mate? I'm awesome. How are uh, you doing? Very good, mate. I'm enjoying these conversations that you and I are actually having. But, mate, tell me, we were, um, in our last video, we were talking about uh, why coaching was important. But now, of course, we have to talk about the types of coaching. If my memory serves, there's two types of coaching, isn't there? Yeah, there's the, what we call the coaching in advance. And as the name suggests, it's usually done prior to a forum meeting. And then the other one is open coaching or sometimes called impromptu coaching. And that's where the presenter is coached in front of the form at the start of, uh, at the start of the deep dive. So they both leverage the same grounding that we talked about on our, on our first video, you know, the coach's role and the mindset and the purpose. The biggest difference between coaching in advance and open coaching is the when and the where. So uh, a planned coaching is usually done a couple of weeks before the forum meeting. And it's usually set in a private setting and ideally you'd want to meet in person. And the presenter will usually arrive, done some pre-work, you know, they'll have filled out the presentation worksheet. And normally you would set aside about an hour's time to do that. It doesn't always take it. Sometimes it could take you 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but we always like to recommend you, you set aside probably about an hour. Where the open coaching session, it, it's done right in the meeting and how it usually comes about is something has happened where there wasn't an opportunity to plan for this maybe since the last meeting something's gone on in the members world maybe when they were doing their five percent reflection something came up for them and they said i would really benefit from doing a deep dive with the forum today so we don't have time to do a a, a prepared coaching session beforehand so we'll just we would get the member in the designated slot in the in the schedule and give them that 45 minutes or so and you know we would let them get up in front of the form and someone would coach them for about 10 or 15 minutes live so mate there's there's certainly different types and i'm sure that, that they've both got their pros and cons depending on what they use. but from your opinion there isn't a better one but what are the pros and cons for each one though that people should be prepared for yeah, I, I really don't think there is a better one. It's like everything, one size doesn't fit all. It's really dependent upon the situation. I love the open coach because it's efficient and it can address anything literally at the same meeting. If something's come on, timing is you know really important, it, it, it's there and we can use it. Also, if there's a lot of heavy emotion that's going on for the person that's doing the deep dive and they get to share it through the coaching session, the entire form can feel that intensity. They can really feel what they're going through. And it's, it, it's sometimes that isn't conveyed when they've had time to, to think about it and through the planned coaching. But on the same side, that can also feel intimidating. You know, it's one thing for me and you, Rod, to get together and I start burying my soul. When I'm in front of the form, maybe I'm not going to be doing it, especially if the form doesn't have as much structure. And, and also for the coach, right? They, they may feel a little awkward, like all oh, my four mates are checking out my skills as a coach and that. So that could bring some, some, some problems for it. But then again, like we said, there is no best way. You could flip that right around. And if you know, you're a great coach, Rod, and we get to see you coach me, the entire forum can learn from what you're doing. So in yeah. other words, if so, coaching in front of people actually has its pros and cons. And it's something which um, I do have to admit, mate, I've learned more by watching other people coach, truly coach, than watching the outcome of a good coach, um, which is a very good yeah. point to make, mate. Yeah. And so the planned coaching, it, I just loved even the word planned, right? It gives you time for preparation and thought. And this this can be really important when your topics may start off kind of vague you know you, we've got the the presenter's worksheet so we can go through that and and really start to unpack before the coach gets to to meet with uh the person doing the presentation and that in of itself i have made some incredible connections and deepened bonds with other form mates who have coached me or i've coached them you're spending that one hour you know in a private setting and you're unpacking it right so 
that's a that's a huge benefit. Some of the cons in doing this is time, right? It takes more time. I need to get ready. I need to plan. You, you need to come and we need to find a place where we can meet. You got to drive. All of that takes a lot more time. And sometimes it doesn't happen, right? We, we all have good intentions. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen. So yeah. what ends up, we get to the forum and, and no one's been coached. And of course, like we talked about the opportunity to watch someone when I'm doing it in private, the, the rest of the forum doesn't get the benefit and it may kind of come off from the presenter's perspective as a little bit more rehearsed. And here's a hard question for you. I love getting the hard question for it. it it's, I can see the benefits of both. And I must admit, I didn't think about, as I said, presenting in front, in front of others or coaching in front of others where you can get more for him value actually from that. If a moderator was sitting there and wondering which one should they use for a particular uh, challenge that's being brought up in the forum? What do you think is the best way for them to decide which is the best one to use? What would be the, do you think would be the best way to choose? Yeah, that is a really hard question because I don't really think I can answer it. Um, I would go to timing. If timing is an issue and something is really going on, let's, and, and, and it can't wait, let's do it. And we'll, we'll do an open coaching session. I personally love plan coaching because it gives me the time to prepare and helps me unpack a lot of these issues that we would, we would address in a deep dive. They tend to be, you know, when we think of the cubby quadrant, quadrant two, things that are very important, but not necessarily timely. So it gives me that opportunity to unpack these things that are in my mind and in the future. So timing isn't of the essence. So taking that time to really unpack it with the coach in the privacy of uh, my office or my home with more time is really beneficial. But if I'm really emotional and time is short and it's now, then yeah, you can't beat an impromptu. I would just not want to suggest to EO members to shortcut anything. You know, really be conscious of that. Uh, don't do an open coach because you want to shortcut the prep. Do an open coach because it makes sense based on the timing and the emotional complexity of what's going on. Mate, the one thing we're good at is finding shortcuts. And that is definitely one of the major things I'm taking away is when you're deciding on which coaching, make sure it's not based on trying to just do it quicker. On that great point, I think we're going to end off the video now because I've definitely got some major takeaways. But as always, if anyone's got any questions whatsoever for either myself or Anthony, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed already and want to see the next couple of videos, do hit that subscribe button now. And as always, we will see you in the next video.